Hello everybody, this is the first video about my rigging tutorial and in this first chapter we are going to cover the leg rig so we are going to create two different uh, chain, this first one and this one for the foot uh, reverse rig be sure you go to anima animation bone tools, bone edit mode and align this little bone to this one, just in position and now create the IK from here to here okay and now align this one, the high K uh, to this little bone so now as you can see you can control it as you can see now I create also the shape to control the, the bone actually we are going to need another bone so go here create another bone for the toe and align it here oh, just in position of course and here animation bone oh sorry animation bone tools bone edit more than stretch it you know to here and now we are going to create another controller uh, pivot only, align the pivot here uh, maybe also rotation and now we are going to link this one uh, here this one here no, sorry, this one to the original one this one here and this one um, here this one here 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 and here that's perfect and let's check everything is fine the reason why I create this other bone is because here you have the foot roll but with this one you can control independently the toe and this one for the heel of course and this is the master controller for the feet actually for the feet I prefer have the pivot aligned here all in position so now we are going to create controller for the knee and also for the stretchy because as you can see when I drop down the the feet the, the bone is detached so first of all we are going to create apply an uh, attribute holder here to the master controller of the feet and then create two slider so go in parameter editor right like writing knee here give whatever name you want and from minus 100 to 100 and cut and as you can see here we're going to have a slider same thing for the stretch and cut now for the knee controller it's very easy right click on the IK Y parameter transform Zoom it angle, cli click on the controller, modify object, and select the slider that we already created now. In this case, is knee. Now let's try to connect and try to move the slider. As you can see, it's moving really faster. So we can fix that right in here in front of us, back to red which means degree to radiance we are going to convert the, the angle update and now should work fine now we are going to talk about the stretch there are two ways the first one is have independent stretch so like here and the second one is automatic so let's start with in independent stretch so freeze these, three, these two bones say yes and then go here, here in the list uh, assign controller, go in the zero value, x so sorry, if you want the independent uh, stretch just right click here, work parameters, transform go in position, zero position, x position select the master control 
and then stretch do the same for this other one position exposition select here modify object and stretch now, as you can see if I'm going to slide here the leg is going to stretch become shorter or longer but will be uh, always independent so no automatic stretch but this is my opinion is really nice because uh, allows you to have more controller and if you wanna use the same rig for different character with different proportion you can as well you can really simply do that you know without rebuild the the rig okay the second one is automatic stretch is a little bit complicated so try to be as fast as I can uh, first of all create a point helper align it here also orientation and then link to this now we are going to always freeze this through uh, let's start with this this oh. Oh, ok I am back after 3ds max crashed so nicely so I can say as I said before align this one here and then link it here oh. ok perfect now again select this freeze and go here uh, in position here on available apply another position XYZ and I don't know give it another name if you if you really want like stretch whatever uh, now open uh, we need the distance between this point to this other point so select these two objects this one and let's say this and here we are going to write distance dollar one and dollar two shift enter and we're going to have now the distance between the two objects the vector you know so once we have done with that click here uh, go up and here on the X right click oh it's not sorry here float screen and then create a, a name this it will be distance create apply a sign a constant so we are going to paste the number that we found before evaluate and now as H create and W and you by the way you can choose whatever name you want uh, now for now for SH we are going to sign uh, uh, a node that will be this helper that's why I created and right click expand object 0 0.01 and then for WR we are going to assign this one uh, once again ok now the tricky part is uh, write the script and the script is uh, So it's kind of tricky, if you want to know a little bit more about this uh, script, visit uh, Paul Neal uh, website. Uh, we are going right now just to evaluate. And now we have to copy all of this, on we have done now, on this other bone. So once again go here, position, uh, apply here another position, XYZ, X, Y, Z, sorry. And uh, again, call it stretch whatever you want and after that just open the curve editor uh, select here 
find here the, the script, you can see this little icon. Um, copy, now go select this other bone. The path is basically the same, see stref xy uh, paste instance. So whenever if you made some mistake, you want to make some change, whatever you write is going to copy directly here. Say OK and then supposed to work. Let's test it. Oh yeah, as you can see, it stretched too early. So what we want to change is uh, go here and uh, click here, property, and go on distance and uh, assign constant and change this value. I don't know, maybe 10 supposed to be enough. Let's try. Oh no, 10 was too early. So once again, um, I don't know, 12. Not enough. Okay, at the end the right value was uh, 116. So evaluate, and as you can see now, it's going to stretch automatically. And that's it. Now, if you want to have an extra controller for the stretchy, that can be really useful if you are doing some cartoony rig and also really helpful for popping in that is usual problem that animator have with keyframe animation so create another controller another circle and align it here go here okay and we are going to create now another uh, basically another chain Be sure is uh, I don't know different color, whatever you want, uh, green. Now, if this chain is not exactly the same, doesn't really matter because we are going to create a stretchy bone now. So uh, once again, create uh, three helper. One, two, three. Align it, position and rotation. And very simple, Me select this bone, animation constraint, position constraint here, and animation constraint, look at constraint here. Don't worry if it's flipping now, go here and select up node choose this uh, once again here animation constraint position constraint here and animation constraint look at constraint uh, here and again the select the up node here if you want to delete this uh, blue line simply go here and set to zero the same here and here animation constraint position constraint here and now we are going to have stretch bones and very easily we are going to link this uh, to this this to this one, and this is actually it's linked to this, and this is linked to this, and also align this to this, only position, and now as you can see we have the same setup as before. But plus, if we want, if we want, we can move the the knee independently, stretch, reverse, whatever you want. And this is really helpful if you are doing uh, cartoon animation, cartoon rig. But also can be really helpful if you have poppy knee. 